Hallelujah, everybody. We praise Yahuwah for this opportunity to come to your home. Welcome to Eagles Haven Ministry, Witness of the Covenant, uh, as well as uh, Ha Eliyahu Channel. Welcome you for tuning in this yom. Uh, we're right on time, maybe a couple minutes, one minute late, but we're this time on time. Praise All right. God. Hallelujah. Praise Yahuwah. All the equipment, everything's running tobe. And we just give praise, Yahuwah, for the opportunity to come into your home and share this, uh, the teachings, the root of the Torah, the teachings, and what we're going to be sharing today. I just praise Yahuwah for this opportunity. Shalom, shalom. Shalom Aleichem to all those who don't know me. <laughs> but uh, I think everybody mostly but, that yeah, listens yeah, yeah. to this knows me yeah. right now. But anyways, um, um, Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Shabbat Shalom. It's wonderful to have everybody here today uh, that's coming in live from different locations. People are, are watching us. We love you. We blew the shofar in the beginning because we're crying out. We're crying out. For righteousness. Shema Israel to repent of her sins. Horrible things are happening back to back right now, people. Horrible things are going on. People are still stuck in Babylon. They're bound up in Babylon one way, one way or another. Even the rabbinical are bound up in Babylon right. as well. Um, we know that in the, we know that the satanic ritual of good hard train train tunnel on five thirty one uh, took place. And that demonic, satanic, in your face, wide, wide eyes wide open ritual in the in in Gut Hard, which means the the land, the uh, the a part of Gut or God or God or Gut is the German way of saying the word G O D, the prosperity deity of fortune. And then right after that came along the Hillary Clinton. Uh, campaign was in Los Angeles on 6 16 16 and, right. the, and the witches and warlocks on national TV you can google it bragged on it that they put five pointed uh, witchcraft five points of sacrifices right. they didn't tell where and what they were sacrificing right. you know what I mean because Los Angeles and Hollywood was full of bloodshed you know what I mean yeah they, they didn't say what it was but they were backing Hillary for her president campaign and we know that she is a her famous book you can see videos on it her stating that she was a part of the Lewinsky group of rules for radicals and we know that in the first opening of rules for radicals he Linsky dedicated his book to Lucifer as the light bearer of understanding of his right. radical rules for radicals. You right. know what I mean? That, you're talking about Saul Alinsky, right? Saul no. Alinsky. Right. Right. Okay. So we have, thank you for adding his first name there. We, uh, you can look it up online. There's nothing hiding. This is light and darkness fighting. Right. We, we wrestle not against flesh and right. blood, brother. I mean, it's just like the word says, but against principalities, powers in high places, you know, uh, um, it's not just a, a, physical thing what's happening is very spiritual so and the only ones that can have any kind of effect on these devil demons or however you want to put them is people who are calling on the name right right because look it that happened we had the the the, the call, i want to say the word may but on the fifth month of 31st day the ritual then on 6 16 there was a lot of other things going on in the middle too. right i'm just only highlighting okay and then we have a parade that took place on the Washington Mall in front of the sundial. They call the Washington Monument, which we're going to show pictures of it. And then we want to cry out Shema Israel because on the 21st or 22nd, uh, just a few days ago, they had the Jerusalem Gay Parade Sodomite Day Parade walking through the walls of Jerusalem. Okay, it was canceled before. They resurrected it. This is an abomination of desolation. And it's, there's a lot of partiality about it. But Israel needs to wake up. Everybody needs to wake up because they're not calling on the true name. They're not calling on right. Yahuwah. And the first scripture we want to share with, and we just pray. We're going to pray. So we're going to pray and we're going to stop and pray. But I want to read a verse as an opening, as we begin to pray and ask the Father to literally 
Braca and let his belly court come upon us, and we rebuke, bind, crush, and destroy the prince of the air that come against our electronics, of our equipment, and our modem, our Wi Fi system, our frequency, and even in the going out to you, there will be no burps and stutters and, and, and all these spinning little wheels of slowing down with commercials, but that you'll be able to watch this with, with, uh, with a good flow, this video teaching we're going to share today. This one's going to be a very impacting message, and we're going to go to Second Chronicles chapter 7, starting from verse 14, and we're going to read on and look at it in different translations. Are you right. with me, brother? Yes, yes. Let me, right. let me read that verse real quick. It says, And my people upon whom my name is called, let me read that one more time <laughs> because it's very important. Okay? Very important. Everybody know, brother, everybody knows this verse and, and it's used it. over and over. But if you really read it and it says, and my people upon whom my name is called. Okay, let's stop right there. Because first of all, if you're a Christian and you're a Cristiano, that's not Yahuwah's name. Right. So you can say these, you can repeat this stuff all day long you're blue in the till you're face. blue in the face for the rest of Another your life. Spirit shows but if up, you consider so yourself to be a Cristiano, I'm sorry, brother. Go on. If you consider yourself to be a Cristiano, then you're not, you're not calling upon the name and his name is not upon you because you're saying I'm a Christian or I'm a Cristiano. What about the okay? rabbinical? Okay, uh, the same thing. You know, when we start the prayer, when we start the prayer, we say, Barukata uh, uh, Adonai. Oh, Adonai? Really? Adonai? I don't know. Uh, no, it's not Adonai. It's Barukata Yahuwah. Eloheno Melecha Olam. Right. All right. It is Baruch are you, Yahuwah, it's King right. of the universe. The sovereign. Say we're universe. sovereign. So, oh, yes, mighty I'm sorry. Elohim. Right. The mighty one of the universe. It's not, it's not, uh, um, it, I'm going to just use these words real quick. It's not, blessed are you, Adonai, the king of the universe. In you're call <laughs> yeah, you're in calling on a different deity. And I just wanted to say something really quick before we keep reading this. Right. Is earlier you said gut and, and, and go God, in good. DOD, yeah. Okay. D those, I, I was looking it up, brother, and th I thought that that was only a title. But that's actually a deity. It's a real name of it's a, a real deity. Right. It, the Druids used that name. <laughs> From even before the Germans did, a long time before, this is a high Germanic language, and it was used in the ancient days, and it was actually the deity that they were calling calling on. It's not just a title. So G-O-D is not just a title. I just want them to know right, that. Right. Okay. This is what every Nazi had on their belt buckle when they threw our people in the fiery furnace. Right. So Gut now... Mit uns. Right. Okay. So that's now, the deity G-O-D. Right. You're right. Yes. It's the yes. same guy. Wow. And you want to call wow. on them, Yehudi? Come on, give me a break. You can't call on that German one that threw our people in the fiery furnace. That's a blasphemy. That's a. It's like our, our people are rolling in their sleep, waiting to wake up to slap you, Yehudi, for using that G-O-D word. <laughs> right. Yes, it is. Keep going, brother. Okay, it says, And my people who upon whom my name is called. Okay, what's your, what's your, what's your name, brother? My name is Eliyahu. Eliyahu. Yahu, Eliyahu, Ana, Ya, Anayahu, Eliyahu, upon the name, yeah, upon whom my name is called Abiya, your wife, mm -hmm. my wife, Kimaya, mm -hmm. you know, we have the name of Yah. So let's read this again. And my people upon whom my name is called, okay? Now, my, now my name from birth is Alfredo. Okay, but I, it's a Latin pagan name, and I refuse to be called that name by believers. I want you to call me Anayahu or Anaya. This is my name He's that Yahuwah gave man. me. He's the name of a man in the scriptures. Right, right. So, so it says, and my people upon whom my name is called, if those ones upon whom my name is called humble. shall humble themselves. It didn't say if my people who, who, who are called the Christians doesn't say or that Baptist. or called the Baptist or, called or the people who call Adonai. It doesn't say that. Yeah. It says, uh, and my people upon whom my name is called shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their evil ways. Then, and, and this is what we strive for to learn the prayers, 
to seek Yahuwah, to turn from our wicked ways, to repent, to teshuvah, and go back to the Torah. Then uh, got back to the Torah. Okay, so you, there are certain things. The, the, there are certain things he's saying that has to happen before he will hear you. Okay, before right. he will hear you, you it's need to be condition. calling on his it's name. Right, it's conditional. Yeah. You need to call on his name first of all, and eventually, when you begin to call on his name, you will your name will change to the to his character because you will have the characteristics of your father who is Yahuwah not your father on earth but your father in the Shamaim okay so then so then and and pray and seek my face you got to pray and seek, seek his face you got to call on his name and you got to you got to uh tefila you got to pray and you got to seek his face okay get the name right people right and you got to teshuva you gotta and and turn from your evil ways. That means to teshuva, to turn around and come back to the Creator. Then, then I shall hear from the shamayim, and forgive their sin and heal their land. But and now, now that this has happened, my eyes are open. I see you, and my ears are attentive. I hear you. What? Yep. You mean it had to be those conditions to right. be heard? So you mean Christians that read just a piece of that verse are misleading the people? Right. They're only reading a piece of that verse. They only right. read verse 14. They don't go on and keep reading. Oh. Right. And, you know, I think that, that, um, that um, you know, a lot, lot of stuff is, man, we've been taught to, you know, I, I just can't put it in words. We've been taught in ways that were not right and so it, there's a lot of misunderstanding there there's a lot of good people out there who really believe in the creator okay but it doesn't matter how good you are or how good i am it doesn't matter because all men have fallen short everybody okay it, it what matters is these things that he's talking about about seeking him calling on his name uh, repenting it, it, then he's going to hear you and it, then he's going to forgive your sin and heal the land now his eyes are open he sees you and he hears you and 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 so i just wanted to brother and i just wanted to make a point of this and we know that we pound this and drive it every single shabbat over and over and over and there's a reason for it right because without that i mean you know yeah, there's a condition for everything. Right. In verse 16, it also says, And now I have chosen and set this house apart for my Shem, my name, to be there forever. And my eyes and my heart shall always be there. Okay, so, and of course, the enemy has planted another building on top of that location with another name, another principality, right? Because they know that's a portal, that's a gateway. And they have put this other blockage there uh, of the Islamic groups. Now, right. we emphasize this, people. Of, we're not hearing this in the political campaigns. We're not hearing this in the Christians in this world. And the reason we have chosen to give you this verse, that if my people that are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and mm. seek my face and turn from their evil ways, that is the condition. And he's going to hear from the Shamaim from the waters above. Right, the Shemaim. <laughs> He's not going to hear from some cloud with, with some little baby, naked babies with harps. And, right. And, you know what I mean? And Zeus and all those guys around yeah. him. No, no. Yeah, a bunch, not, a bunch of guys. The Sodomites and the Gomorrahites to walk the streets of Jerusalem. Right. And I'm so deeply wounded because when I first went to Israel in tourism, it was nothing. Just being a tourist and part of a tourist group, a tourist captain, it was okay, you know. But when I went alone and I said, I'm going to walk the very footsteps of my Hebrew Messiah, Yeshua, there was reverence, there was awe, there was kodeshness about it. These people are making a mockery, and by bringing the Sodomites and Gomorrahites to walk the streets of Jerusalem a few days ago, what they are doing is opening the portholes and gateways of judgment to come on Israel, because they're not calling on the true name. They're not calling on his name at all. 
Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. This is an abomination. And even the rabbis that said it was an abomination. Right. Nobody said to kill them. They just said it was an abomination. It should not be done. And they had over 2,000 police to protect the gays to do this march. Right. And they didn't need, uh, you know, I don't even want to get into details of it, but we got to say, Shema Israel, repent for the pagan idols in plain sight and allowing the Sodomites and the Gomorrahites to come into the camp. In the Shem of Yeshua, Father, have compassion and pity on our people. Forgive our people for what they have done. Forgive our people what they have done. Forgive them. They do not know what they have done because the government is superseding and overriding the religious people with integrity. And they're pushing the military and the government and the police to protect those particular evil wicked people. In the Shem of Yeshua, we pray, Father, right now to forgive the people of the land. It's, and we know you're going to send messengers to buffet them in order to repent. And they brought a, a couple months ago more pagan idols out of the ground and put it in the museum. And they bragging these spirits instead of destroying them and crushing them to powder. Father, have compassion on them. And please, Father, wake people up in Israel. Shema Yesharel, Israel, wake up in the Shem of Yeshua. The next thing we're going to show you is this. We had the gay parade. On uh, this month on the 21st but something happened before that on 716 something happened something serious happened there was an invitation from the Pope Francis here's him right here holding a, a t-shirt with American flag get together all right and this is the fill the mall pulse reset they all had different terminologies for it but this is the Pope he, he took, he, he generated this. Uh, every Christian group got together. That's why you think I am a little radical. What I'm going to show you right now is seriously radical. All right. This youngster met with the Pope last month on the 13th and gave him a book, uh, which is about reset, pulse reset, or or it's, it's Nick Hall with the Pope. His name is Nick Hall. He's a new kid in the block. They're using his energy and charismatic ability, but he is an economical person. 20 years ago, nobody would give him a dime a day for anybody in economical. All right? And, he, and here's another flyer. I don't want to give too much esteem on this, but this is what they had on the National Mall. But here's the thing that you got to realize. They did this event, and I've been to these events for the J-Man rally, and they had our congregation as a messianic group come with the shofar. I blew the shofar, but I didn't realize I was blowing the shofar right in front of the sundial of Nimrod, the, wow. the phallus right. of Nimrod right. facing, right? And look at what goes up goes down the reflection of the waters this is strictly mason this is straight up mason stuff that right. took place filled them all okay and then look at this picture of the of the phallus again why they were out there look at this i mean they magnifying that pyramid and they all seen right. eye on the dollar bill with your god people that you're still calling on this is their mighty one people this is their mighty one. They actually, made, they actually made a, a vision of the all C and I right there. Yeah. 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 So this is their, this is weird, man. He's got the up and down because of the reflection of the water. It's got this cloud burst of the smoke underneath. Some guy wanted to take a picture of the cloud burst, but there's all kinds of creepy things going on in the cloud of smoke of that fire of the fireworks and and and, and this is when he this is where it was done so being the pope and all these christians got together so on that picture would you say that what they're trying to say is as above so below right. okay okay so then they are exalting themselves as above as they're the ones who are above right a a and so it is going to be below also right okay now get this people Josh McDonald's, Francis Kane, a Rabbi Zacharias, you believe it? Billy Graham's organization, Luis Palau Association, Campus Crusade for Cristo, American Bible Tract Society, American Bible Society, which we know was bought like eight years ago by the Vatican Church. A lot of the things that are you think are Christian people are not Christian no more. The Vatican has come in with third party money people and in the disguise of evangelists, and they have bought these Christian companies. They have bought also Strong's Greek Concordance Dictionary, Zandervin. 
concordance. That's why we only use the Zandervan Strong Greek concordance before the year 2000, because they bought it out. Okay, right. the Catholic Church. There's a lot of things that they've done slowly infiltrated and dangled money on the sons and daughters of these great men that started these dictionaries and books, and the sons and daughters are not serving, so they just sold out to the highest bidder. You know right. what I mean? Just like uh, 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 Smith Wigglesmere's building in, in, in Philadelphia is occupied by Muslims today. Smith Wilgerson's building, they had the great revival of 1800, and the Muslims purposely bought that building to make it a place of study of Islam as a blasphemy and mockery. These people, look at that. If you but got men, men sold it, brother, for, for money. You know, like the, the, mama, war, the, the war dollar says, bill. Yeah, the, 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 the money is the root of all evil. Right. You know. And so now, listen carefully. Go back and look if your favorite fans are there. Kirk Franklin. Andy Ma uh, Mino, Matt Mahar, Lorraine, Lorraine Daigle. I don't know most of these people. Some of them I do. Casting Crowns was there. Yeah. Lecur, Kirky, Kirk, Kirk, Carrie Job was there. Jeremiah Camp was there. The Catholic yeah. evangelistic economical singer, Matt McCurr. Okay, he's a Catholic so evangelist. This, this, this is they're exposing themselves uh, right in uh, your people, face. Yeah, it, it, so so like these people like casting crowns and 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 Jer and uh, what's his name Jeremy Camp. Right. Okay, these are famous Christian artists and and that have uh, that that uh, have uh, this music that it, that that back in the early 2000s was great you know as far as if you're a christian they have but, they but have yeah joined the but they're the really book. exposing themselves by aligning themselves with the false with prophet. the yeah with the false prophet national hispanic president of all hispanic christianity samuel rodriguez southern baptist convention ronnie floyd hillsong united they were the main ones the pope started with a video he didn't go there purposely. He started with a video and a prayer. Lou Engel. And I know these some of these guys. I know these guys. I've ate with them. I fellowship. I prayed. I've rocked and interceded with these guys before. Okay? And they were starting to use Yahushua. They were starting to use. They didn't use a, a Yahuwah. They used Yahweh. Right? But they were using the words back then right. when we were beginning. Now they have completely inverted back to the G-O-D, L-O-R-D, just, just like uh, Lou, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, Michael Rood and others. They inverted back to the G-O-D and L-O-D 100%. That, that's because they learned the name. I just want to say this real quick. They learned the name, and, and then, but they, they don't keep going and they don't keep the feast because a little bit of everybody knows who does pesa that a little bit of leaven leaven's the whole, the whole leaven's the whole lump and 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 that's that's why they reverted back to that right so now i just want I, I just named a few you can research it yourself you're going to find many people that you got if you're if you're messianic and you got some of their cds uh there was a uh, there was a, a rapper that kirk franklin brought to rap with them that this rapper just five years ago announced on stage in front of thousands of people that he sold his soul to satan and without integrity and moral ethics of training and correction with a father image to co-sign and, and tell people yeah he's really repented i cast demons out of him he's not a part of it no more no they let him right back in because somebody else famous brings him in and kirk franklin i know kirk franklin personally too. and they pay them brother they and pay kirk them the same they give thing. them money he was a part of all kinds of perversion stuff he got crazy with his music he started doing all, all right. kinds of stuff and he was an ex uh, I can't remember Crip or Blood because I was a part of, of a group one time that had ex-gang members that are part of ministry and we were we sat in the platform several times together and we actually he used to always be very toe with me but then I found out he was dipping he was dipping back in for the money and going in and playing this right. music that's not dope okay compromising and the Ruach Atosh was not there no more because they are operating under the Spiritu Santos they're operating on the Holy Spiritu the Holy Spiritu, the deity that's celebrated on September every year in, in, in throughout India, the spirit of holy, Holly, and she gives the spirit of happy to people. And, and then they have the Spiritu, which is not, you, you, I have a teaching completely, it is not the breath of the Ruach of Yahuwah. You and I have a spirit, dogs and I have a spirit, uh, 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 
Fallen angels have a spirit. Uh, demons have a spirit. But, but the Father has Ruach to give us. He has his Ruach. You never use that for him. It's nowhere in the Hebrew or even the original Greek for him to be used as spiritu. That is a Latin Catholic word. It has nothing to do with Greek or Hebrew. Okay, It's pneuma in Hebrew. And that's equivalent to the breath of the wind, of the breath of the Father, the Kodesh breath. It okay. could be bad or good for the Greek, but in Hebrew it's supposed to be to. Okay, So I wanted to show you this. This is, this is a time Christians... I saw in line Baptists are splitting from the Baptists. Krampus could say people are splitting from anybody that co signed with the Pope. There's Christians splitting. Messianics are saying, Whoa, what happened? Right. Followers of Yah, people that call on, on Yahweh and Jehovah and, and Jehovah, they're, they're saying, Whoa, it's in right in front of our face. The right. false prophet, the new world religion under the false prophet, religious leader, the Pope. Right. That's not my father. That's not my father. My father is Abraham, Ishak, Jacob. That's right. Are you hearing me, people? Hallelujah. This is, this, is a, this is a fake it till they make it. Unity. And they were feeling spirits where they were worshiping and singing. This is a different spirit, brother, than when yes. we were talking about when we were young in, in Christianity. This is a different right. spirit than even it's a different type of Azusa music. Revival. Uh, every, everything has changed. Right. Uh, you know, but I just want to say this, is that, is that you know, if you look at the lives of all of the patriarchs, of all of them, and, and I'm, I'm, going, I'm going all the way back to Noah. I'm talking about, about Noah, Shem, um, the, the, even the ones that are not mentioned that many times, Methuselah, and all, all these guys, and, and down to Abraham, Isaac, and Yaakov. And, and so, you know, they were, all these guys were taught in the way that they should go, in the way. And, and what is the way? Uh, Yahushua said, Yahushua said for the Talmudim to follow them, to follow him, and that he would show them the way. What is the way? The way is, 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 the, is all the feast of Yahuwah. The way is the Torah. Okay? The way is the Torah. There wasn't no, there wasn't no Brit Hadishah back then. So I'm, I'm speaking to all of you who are listening to the sound of our voice, and, and that's just coming in. The way that, Yahu, that Yahushua taught them was all of the, um, all of the Torot and, and all of the feast and, and, and that they should walk in this way. So that's why when, when we come into the belief, then we drop off New Year's. We drop off the holidays of, of, of Thanksgiving. We drop off the holidays of, uh, of uh, Christmas. We drop, see, because we're, we're learning to follow the, the, the Mashiach and, and follow him in the way. Now, if you don't believe me, I bet you that all of these people who were doing what you were saying, brother, that began calling on the name of Yah, whether it was the name of Yahweh or Yahovah, which is a bad name, but still they had began to call on the name. Out that way. They had begun to call on the name of Yah. I was calling on the name of Yahweh. I didn't know it was Yahoo at first. Right. But then when I found out, then then of course, then you see, because we have to have humility. Then I said, Okay, I'm gonna change from that. I'm gonna call I'm gonna call him the true by his true name, Yahuwah. Okay, so anyways, because these men and these people do not continue in the way, then they fall to by the wayside. And that's why they're able to go back into the Christian movement and call on, on, on L-O-R-D, which we know equals Baal. Right. We, know, we, we know that, brother showed you a picture a while, a while ago about God, which is gut. Okay, mm -hmm. we we keep we keep pounding this stuff and showing it to everybody, and and some of you guys are probably are tired of hearing us talk about it, but but we hope that this falls on the ears of somebody who hasn't heard this before. And these people are under spell. Right. I was looking at video footage. They're calling on God. They're calling on God. They were mentioning God more than the J J man or than Jesus. Right. That's what I'm saying. It's all. a different. It's a different uh, spirit. They've gone from a. They come from the the charismatic Christian spirit to more of a uh, of a um, uh, God compromise, soft, cushy, right. wishy, be gentle to people. Right. I seen where 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 there's where there's Christians who uh, are talking to atheists. And I experienced this at work where, oh, no, no, don't tell him nothing. It's okay for him to be an atheist. Really? 
a Christian can say it's okay for somebody to be an atheist? <laughs> well, they have their they have their beliefs. Yeah, they're being taught that in yeah. the, by their pastors. Right. This is a different. This is a way uh, different spirit now. It wasn't like I grew up. Change or hit the flame, learn or burn, dunk right. them three times, three bubbles coming out, and then you know they're repentant. <laughs> that was the old Baptist way. You know what I mean? You gotta, don't get up from that altar. It's only been thirty minutes yet. You got to be on there a couple of hours repenting of your sins. You know what I mean? Right. Old right. school uh, revivalist days. You know they're over. They're over. It's this microwave, ten little seconds, and warmed up, and now you're a pat you on the back, and you're a Cristiano. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So the next picture I'm showing you now, and you see little Chucky Jesus here with a cruz. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. The eight pointed, the eight pointed cruz with his little fiery fork on his head, giving the symbol of the Masons of the Illuminati with a ball. Is this any coincidence? You have Nimrod, Simeries, and all the all the same thing with these balls hanging around them. The same thing for the the fallen one, the fallen one of of uh, right that that gave the fire of the Greek mythology. And you see the oblix, this guy holding up a phallus, and the other guy's holding up a ball with a snake on it. All right, is there any coincidence? This Catholic picture has a band around they call the globe and the world which is re not really the right image. This is Nimrod to the best, people. Right. And, and people need, we need to repent from it. We need to repent from it wholeheartedly. Remember the first verse that we shared with you guys. If my people who are called by my name would, hum would humble themselves and, and turn from their evil ways. So we got to turn from that, from believing in the, you know, the whole world has gone astray believing in that we are it, it, so who do you're worshiping you're worshiping that dollar bill the one the god they trust which is the right. same one that it was on the nazi belt buckles the same one when they were throwing our people in the fiery furnace as well as gypsies and poles and anybody else that was wasn't the right color complexion and look w what are you going to believe people it's time to come out of this fake it till they make it lies. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and stop here. And but we 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 really look at if Christians, a million Christians with the Pope, using distorted scriptures, hello, okay, could deceive and fool all these top musicians singers worshipers right. and, and and they didn't even know what they were worshiping brother i believe that most of the people that they, uh, they knew after a while once they were in deep but yeah. at the beginning they don't know they, they have no idea Man, i don't just think to they stand do stand there and face that phallus right i mean you got to be dumbed down brother like what right. bumped your head and not know history no i'm saying when they when they first started in in christianity oh, okay. and you know when they first came out with their songs and well you know back in the early 2000s and like casting crowns and and jeremy camp and, and all these guys were sincere yeah. in the beginning right. Hill song was the people left Hill yeah, song we know of they ne le left them because of yeah. the transition to say that uh they that they admit that allah and hindus and others just worship another form of their god they're right to the point god right, right. but not the Elohim of Israel, right? Not the one Yahuwah, right? Of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, right? Not not the one of Second Chronicles, verse uh, seven, chapter seven, th verse fourteen. Yeah, chapter seven, verse fourteen. That's not there. That's not the same one. It's a different mighty okay, one. That's a different mighty one. The one in in Second Chronicles, chapter seven, seven, verse fourteen, is the mighty one of Israel, and his name is not Gut or God. His name is not Dios. His, he, he has a name, a real name, okay? Not a title and not a, not a fake, how brother says, fake it till you make it name. <laughs> yeah, right.